A warm good morning to all students, parents, respected chief guest, our beloved chairman, director, and my te teaching fraternity. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the seventh orientation day program by CAD, Chennai Academy of Architecture and Design. Dear Batch 2020, today is just another day. It's a new opportunity a new chance, a new beginning, and the first day of your college life. Embrace it. This is a much-awaited event in every student's life, and it is a celebration of their new journey. Myself is Krishna Sudha, professor from CAD, Chennai Academy of Architecture and Design, and also the MC for the day. CAD, Chennai Academy of Architecture and Design, is a standalone architecture institution in Chennai imparting DIAC degree in a state-of-the-art facility. Students study in a thoughtfully designed environment that will inspire and invigorate their minds through expedient design procedures and practices that will stand as timeless references in their profession. CAD is located adjacent to the Periyapalaya Amman Temple, a sacred place of pilgrimage on the Chennai Tirupati Highway. Lakhs of pilgrims congregate at Periyapalayam for seasonal festivals and the place is strategically well connected through road, rail and air, located at 40 kilometers from Chennai Central Station and the Chennai International Airport. CAD is a unit of Arulmigu Nayagi Swamigal Saurashtra Educational Trust, which was established with the prime objective of spearheading quality education in disciplines which possess the capability to make a profound impact on the human society. CAD is now moving on successfully to the seventh year with the new set of students from Batch 2020. The sky, we are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. Climbing to the top demands strength, whether it is to the top of Mount Everest or to the top of your career. With these words of motivation by our beloved Dr. APG, APJ Abdul Kalam, sir, let's begin the orientation day program of Batch 2020 on a welcome note from our director, Professor Vinod Vijay Kumar. Our director, Professor Vinod Vijay Kumar, sir, is a pivotal force behind CAD's success story. He holds a master's degree in planning and a specialization in urban design from the National University of Singapore. He was employed with a renowned architectural practice in Singapore for over four years and bears rich industry experience in the fields of master planning, architecture and interior design. He has partnered with international clients and consultancies on various projects of international repute. With his dedication towards the students that has brought CAD among the top three architectural colleges in Tamil Nadu. It's an absolute honor to invite our own director, Sir Professor Vinod Vijay Kumar, for welcoming everyone. Thank you, Krishna Zudamadu. Greetings from CAD, Chennai Academy of Architecture and Design. The inauguration for the new batch used to happen in our Vivekananda Auditorium every year in a very ceremonious manner. And this is the first time. We are doing it over an online platform. Nevertheless, hoping to receive all of you over for FaceTime classes in the college campus very soon, and we will again have a welcome event. On that note, I welcome and thank our chairman, Professor Dr. V. R. Rajendran, for consenting to preside over this online inauguration event. On behalf of the chairman, Professor Dr. V. R. Rajendran, Managing Trustee of Arunmika Nayak Swamikal Saurashtra Educational Trust, Madam Rupa Rajendran, the trustee, Dr. Ratish, and the management team, and the entire CAD fraternity, I welcome our chief guest of the day, one of the greatest doyans of architecture practice in our country, architect Murali Murugan, the principal architect of Murali Associates in Chennai. Today, Murali, sir, is among the most respected architects in India, with a diversified portfolio of projects of all scales. I would like to uh, recall a very interesting uh, coincident, uh, coincidence at this point in time. It was when Murali sir was delivering a public lecture at CAD campus titled Synthesizing the Unknown 
in the known. On the 5th of December 2016, the news of uh, the demise of our Honorable then Chief Minister um, Jailalitha was released officially. Later, architect Murali Murugan sir went on to win the All India Design Competition conducted by Tamil Nadu government for the memorial for late former Chief Minister Selvi J Dr. J. Jailalitha. It is one of the most prestigious projects currently handled by his firm. He has been a great support for our institution and I cannot thank him enough for his kind gesture to spare time with our batch of 2020 to provide insights about the profession and practice of architecture. We are indebted to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Students batch 2020, let me tell you why I believe from the bottom of my heart that all of you are going to make great architects. Architecture is all about evaluating choices and taking decisions. Batch 2020 students, today, the 4th December 2020 marks a day you have made the right decision of joining CAD as the institution of your choice to pursue your dream in architecture studies. I welcome all of you on behalf of the entire CAD faculty team for a fabulous journey of learning in preparation to an eventful career in architecture. It is a pleasure to formally welcome our chairman who has set all the standards high for us, who only has a yes for an answer for any of our initiatives towards excellence and ever expanding collaborations and the pillar of our support, our very own Professor Dr. V. R. Rajendran. Welcome, sir. His illustrious academic profile having held the highest offices as the vice chancellor of one of the largest universities in India for two terms, says it all about the quality standards we uphold at CAD. It is a great honor to welcome our respected managing trustee of Arunmiga Naivi Swamigal Saurashtra Educational Trust of which CAD is a unit of. Srimati V. R. Rupa Rajendran, Madam, for her unstinted support and kindness in every single initiative of CAD. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome the respected members of our trust, Dr. V. R. Ratish and Srimati Sanchu Devi, who have been consistently supporting CAD in each of its endeavors. I welcome our principal, Professor M. C. Ramesh Kumar, and all the faculty members who are the spine and bone of this institution. I'm indebted to thank the senior batch of students and their parents who confided in us and joined CAD in the past years, believing in our vision as a very young institution. Since then, we have grown in our strengths and found new areas of excellence. I can confidently announce that CAD has offered the best that you can expect out of an architecture institution and today is ranked among the top architecture colleges in Tamil Nadu already. I was among the very few colleges where the open quota was completely filled up last year on the very first day of counseling and continues to be the sought after college by academically oriented students this, this year as well. Even during the COVID times this year, we have had students from all districts of Tamil Nadu showing the students patronage to our commitment to quality education. I welcome the batch of 2020 who are the celebrities of today's function. I, wel I welcome the parents of the students for a cordial association with the institution. It is always a very joyful experience for me to tell the story about the inception of CAD. CAD was installed in the year 2014, around the same time before six years. We made a very humble beginning with just 20 students in a uh, temporary premises, uh, 10 minutes drive from where the campus is located currently. The council allowed us to operate from a temporary premises for three years, but we moved to the current new campus in the second year itself. CAD was a well-conceived dream with a lot of passion. The commitment of the management and the chairman to support the institution during all difficult times and even during the COVID times, as a recent example, is a strong reason one can be convinced that CAD is the best higher education destination for architecture. We have meticulously met all the stakeholders 
to take their inputs before establishing the philosophy of the college, both at the national and the international level. Myself, along with the chairman, have made trips to all these countries to meet our international advisors, Mr. Kamal Pawa, the Dean of Cholaban International College of Medicine, Thailand, Dr. Wayne James, the Director of Dubai School of Government, UAE, and Professor Anu K. Gopna, Senior Vice President and Co-Chair, the Global Education and Research Foundation, USA, to take constructive inputs for the installation of the institution itself. It is a team effort and very strong motivation and commitment from the management to start a world-class institution that made a fantabulous CAD campus infrastructure possible in less than 10 months. I start this session on a very proud note that within a span of six years, CAD has gained considerable reputation in the academic arena. We are constantly looking out to the trends of the market and preparing our students in those skills which will make them game changers once they venture into the profession. We are constantly exceeding the expectation of the Council of Architecture and our affiliating Anna University who were advertently award the approvals considering the following criteria. One has to be the good infrastructure, the leadership and the faculty team, the quality of the students' work, the academic works, the social extension activities of any institution into the community. Let me tell you, every year we only excel in all these parameters. The first and foremost strength of the institution is that it is a standalone institution for architecture. Now we have more than the prescribed space requirement to run the college with the current intake for the entire course duration of five years. We have the equipment sufficient for the five different workshops, namely the model making workshop, the carpentry workshop, the climatology workshop, surveying workshop, and the photography lab. The library, which is the academic core of any institution, is loaded with books, journals, e-journals, always carrying 30 to 50 percentage more than what the council and Anna University stipulates. The flamboyant aquarium that is built in the green lounge as an extension to the library is probably the first of its kind for an institution to hold. The facility has propelled an increase in influx of students to the library as anticipated, and we have academically engaged the students informally and creatively in the learning process in this new setting. I'll be failing in my duties if I forget to mention the efforts of my good friend, architect Prasanna of Studio 7 Architects in giving shape to the dreams of this project. And Mr. Gurunath, who took up tirelessly in completing the construction of the campus in record time. As students, you will not only be proud to be a part of campus, but also see yourself engaging in the building in the learning process itself. Everybody will accept when I say that we can put up every bit of our promise when it comes to infrastructure. While a healthy body, in this case the infrastructure, is essential for any institution, what is also crucial is to have a sound brain to conceive and sustain the deeds of the institution. Our design pedagogy has been our equal strength. For an ever diversifying course, such as architecture, it is important that the institution has to open out the students to avenues available to them to flourish. Thanks to the management support, the CAD public lecture series is conducted consistently every month, and we are standing tall with 57 lectures completed till date with experts from architecture and allied fields deliberating and their specialized fields. Being a standalone college helps us to adopt our own teaching methods, which are proven best suited for studio-based programs such as VR World Over. A lot of workshops have been conducted through the previous years, which is very well appreciated by the council. I will have to remind you that these lectures and these workshops are not something that the university mandates, 
these initiatives are a part of the unique design pedagogy that we are trying to nurture at CAD. These workshops prepare and help the students on a competitive skill platform, helping them to address their academic projects in a better manner. This also adds to their individual portfolios, keeping them market ready. We are determined to stretch any limits to prepare the students as global professionals the day they step out of CAD and venture onto the profession. A course like architecture is best learned through conscious observation. In the past, with the enduring efforts of the chairman, we have entered into collaborations with Alpha College of Architecture at Malaysia for student rotation programs, where the students of CAD will be doing a short-term project a batch of students accompanied by faculty from CAD went on to complete the project at Utrujaya, Malaysia in March 2016. We were able to bring this experience as a part of the mainstream academics at CAD. This was followed by an MOU with SPU Bangkok in 2017. The students and faculty of CAD indulged in an intensive vertical studio at the SPU University, Bangkok, Thailand, on a very interesting project called Urban Row. In the year 2018 set our trajectory steep. We collaborated with the Xinhua University Beijing, which stands as the top 10 universities for architecture studies in the world. It is only through this collaboration that Xinhua entered the Indian subcontinent. 20 students from Xinhua University stayed and completed a project at the CAD campus, teaming up with our students. And in 2019, the CAD International Studio was conducted at Singapore in collaboration with SUTD and IUDS Singapore. As much as COVID posed a lot of challenges, I can confidently announce that CAD is one of the few institutions which ensured a seamless continuity in the academic delivery without any lapse. Since 2017, we had been using online platforms for our submission and student work documentations. Hence, the transition was seam seamless. We were even able to bring more than 10 renowned international speakers on board for the CAD lecture series from April until today. Here, I should give the entire credit to the CAD faculty team who spent hours of screen time with the students, ensuring learning continuity even at the expense of their personal time. I take this moment to thank my faculty team who believed in our vision and joined hands in making it a reality. Our strength consistently grew year on year with unique talents joining our team. And what is important is that everybody who joined us continue to stay with us as a family. Professor Kanagatara, Professor Anita, Professor Krishna Sudha, Professor Tamar Yadil, Professor Mishba, Ariharan, Satish, Janani, Shivashankari, Monika, Naveen, Professor Dushyant, Yuri Larson, Karpagapriya, Jaikar, Radhika, Vinod, Deepthi, Parani Prabha, Venkata Naresh, Prakash, who have all joined further reinforcing our collective strength. We have a very simple but effective support mechanism which works around the clock as pillars of support to the operations of the institution. Mr. Murugan takes care of the university related matters and day to day administration. His phone never stops ringing. I'm sure most of the parents here have connected with him several times over the past month. Mr. Vijayendra takes care of the finance matters, assisted by Vimal and Rajesh. Mr. Gunath attending to the infrastructure needs of the college. And Mr. <laughs> taking care of the boys' hostel and the girls' hostel needs, making them feel at home. We have a very strong strong IT team from Mr. Gulam and Faisal. Venu takes care of the hospitality division and manages the CAD stationery. Our driver colleagues who are ensuring our safety and comfort and timely arrival of the students and staff to college. Our in-house cooking team are serving our taste buds at their best. We cannot neglect the support that we are getting from Madhu, Madan and Manigandan assisting us at the office and the role of our housekeeping staff keeping the college premise speak and span and ever vigilant the security team as well. Everyone are at their best all the time. 
building an institution is not a one day task but what other great institutions have achieved in 20 years of time cad made a phenomenal progress and achieved in 5 years time i should say at cad we work with our head hands and the heart this is not a mere job for us this is a calling a calling with a purpose and the purpose is our students here students i invite you all to join together as a part of the cad team to paint a wonderful portrait of your future parents i promise that your ward will pass out of this institution with all the necessary skills to become a successful professional and a remarkable individual let us build a new world together welcome to cad thank you all of you